Hello friends, welcome back. In this session in the data mining playlist, we are going to understand how do we install RapidBiner. We are going to use RapidBiner quite extensively in the second half of the playlist and it's important for us to install this. So I'm going ahead with the installation process right now and it's pretty easy for somebody to install. And the entire process is to be followed meticulously and make sure that you don't miss any steps. So how do we go about it? First, go to your favorite uh, Google as usual and from there type RapidBiner. That's all. The first link that you get is the one that you need to go ahead with and this time I'm prompted to uh, clarify questions. So let me skip it. I have already opened it. So rapidbinder.com is the website that you need to go to be very precise and concise about it. And when you go there, they talk about RapidBinder and they tell you what exactly is the RapidBinder. And it's a tool that's used for data scientists, ML operations in particular. The complete data, uh, data science cycle can be implemented and tested uh, with RapidBinder. So it's very easy for us to um, install it also. And the interface is also pretty good. So click get started. The moment you click get started, you get a lot of options out there. And out of which we have got three options which are important to be understood. One is the RapidBinder Go. You need not install anything. You can use your browser and start using RapidBinder. This is on the go usage and this is a beautiful web interface based setup which you can use the browser for you to use RapidBinder. The second one is RapidBinder Studio which you can download and install in your machine. The third one is educational program where if you are a student or a professor, you get free access to the RapidBinder. That's it. These are all the three options available. Now let me go ahead and download it. Once I click download button, I'll be asked with a set of questions where I need to go ahead and register. I need to ensure my registration for educational purposes so that I'll be identified as an educator and I'll get access free. So make sure that you are an educator. If you are an educator, use this option. If you are a student, use this option. Now give your first name, last name, university details, role. You can be a student or an instructor or even a researcher to use this option. So and then you need to create a password for your access and email address is preferred to be an educational institute email address so that you won't have any issues. Now once you do this, the next step is immediately you will get a verification email from RapidBiner. They send you an email and when you click that email link and it has to be verified within five days as they say, once you click that, you will be taken to this kind of web interface which I'm going to show you right now. And it will be like this. You need to type your username and the password and once you are done with it, you can access the rapid minor downloadables and there is nothing difficult in this process so just log in after the verification is done you will get a message like your account is created successfully and that's all you can go ahead with this process now you will be redirected to this page where you will get the licenses detail the profile detail the community detail referrals downloads and click downloads that is where we are going to work out right now the moment you click downloads it automatically uh, suggests which download is which installable is suitable for your operating system and the system that you have that's orange in color and you can click that the moment you click that the download starts and it will be taking uh, a little bit of time for you to get this download done based on your internet capacity and other than this we have got rapid miner a hub 9.8 and run rapid miner a hub in the cloud option is enabled where you can use it for aws microsoft azure and you can also go ahead with rapid miner radoop 9.8 all these are to be explored and we need to really look into it at a later stage. Now, I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to install it right now. The installation process is again pretty simple and easy for you to go ahead. Just click yes. And as usual, click next and read through the agreement. If you really want to go through it, I suggest you go through it quickly. And once it is done, make sure that you have the sufficient free space available for it to be installed. And once it is done, the installation is really cool and fast. And you could see that the process is going on really fast. Once the installation is done, we will go through quickly how to use the available resources, what are all the options over there, and then we will conclude this session. But the core work with RapidMiner will be explored a little later. Now you could see the installation is done and I'm going to finish it. So immediately since I have enabled the option of launch RapidMiner Studio, it will be launched. You can see that it is asking me for access permissions. So I have given allow access and you can see that this is free uninitialized edition and it will load it. It will take some more time for it to be loaded and you can see that. Now as usual, you need to go ahead and accept the license agreement, the end user license agreement. Go through it if you can. Give I accept and that's all. It will go ahead to the further installation process and it will be completed shortly. 
Now comes the most important step. We need to log in into your RapidMiner account once everything is set up so that you can use it. So since we have already registered, I am going to use the same and it's easy for us to go ahead. Now that's it. The account is set up and we are all free to go ahead for using this tool. That's all we have installed RapidBinder. And there are a lot of tutorials that are available here for you to start with. It's not going to be difficult for you to go ahead with it. I'm telling you there are a lot of training resources available. You can see one by one, explore it. I'll explain you all these a little later uh, while we find uh, time for getting the next video done. And you've got each and everything very clearly explained and it's pretty easy for you to use. I'm telling you this is one of the finest tools that that's very well structured with a lot of tutorial support which is very appreciable and you can see the entire tutorial stuff here when you explore a rapid minor academy you get a lot of tools and you can have the complete essentials covered here as well and this is very easy to use you can see that operators and process modeling accessing data filtering merging and grouping all these are available here and when you click modeling you get the complete guidelines and tutorial support for that particular thing so all these are easy for you to understand and to use but anyways we will have a session on that i hope you will definitely like it and understand it try installing it and in case you find any difficulty in installation let me know i'll be happy to help you and i hope the session was interesting try it out if you have any questions suggestions input please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be happy to answer thank you